Right, I'm gonna go over this real quick. I'm gonna use this style of ring compressor. Uh, the rings, you know, especially if you buy them as a set, don't get excited when they're all together. That's not something you wanna uh, just trust that everything's good to go. I mean, even the instructions that came with it say, hey, um, take everything apart, clean it, you know, blow it out. You don't have to necessarily take out the rings and stuff, but clean it with some carb cleaner or something and then blow it out uh, with their air compressor, especially your uh, uh, pin there. And another thing you want to make sure of, that arrow is going to face the flywheel. So the first one I'm going to do is the number one. Um, so as you're, if you were looking at the front of the engine, it, the flat part is going to be faced left. Um, but I'm going to lube this up real quick, just put a little bit on the surface, a little bit on the rings. And then we're going to make sure that, so the manufacturer instructions, like I said, that's going to face to the right towards the flywheel. It says to have everything within 120 degrees. And you don't want to have any uh, gaps for the piston rings on the lower sides. Or, not sure exactly why, but I've been told not to, or where the, the pin goes in. So you want to keep everything kind of from the, I don't know, 9.30-10 clock position to the 2.33 clock position with all the gaps spread out. <clears throat> um, if you're running a turbo and stuff like that, you need to do more research. You want to make sure that when these are fully pressed, which you could take them out and put them inside the cylinder to kind of measure, that you have a specific measurement. You want to make sure that you have a specific gap. Because with turbo and all that stuff, or high, super high performance engines, you're going to have um, these pistons are going to come together even more. If they close completely, you're going to have problems. I promise that something's going to blow. So I'm going to lube this up real quick and then we're going to go from there. All right. So, like I said, flywheel that way. So everything above those spots, I've got the uh, one ring down here on the bottom of that there, that one there, and then you got this one here, and this one here. So now we're going to take this tool, heard the great, the great things about it, and I've broken piston rings before using Harbor Freight bull crap. Uh, and I've seen a couple of videos, I'm super excited about it. So like I said, just make sure this is pointing towards the flywheel, and for the number one cylinder, obviously this is going to be, the flat spot's going to be pointing left. I'm using this sucker so I'm not getting crazy with it basically all you do is you just keep pushing down gently um, and it's gonna become the same diameter as the uh, piston or the cylinder rather Pretty simple it says first time I've used it so a little be a little uh, wimpy about it but I just don't want to break any piston rings and have to deal with all that crap but now we're gonna go ahead and push through a little bit more so I can expose the pinholes all right so um, Regardless of which side you're going to put on first, number two or number one, I'd make it a good practice to put the uh, the ring in here on the inside. Uh, especially, you know, if you do number one first, you put the ring on the outside of the number two, then you're not going to be able to put the other ring in there. It's going to be in the way. Uh, but you put the ring on this one, once you connect it to the uh, uh, crankshaft rod, you put the other ring in there once you have the pin in there and call it a day. Alright, so we got our uh, ring in here. I'm going to throw a little bit. We have a ring right here. I'm going to throw a little bit of oil. Um, just to kind of help lubricate.
So once you have it in there, um, you know, rotate it just a little bit. I don't have to scratch anything like I'm about to. Just kind of ensure that it's seated properly. And now I'm going to do that to the uh, other three.